I am David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. Canada's electricity grid is evolving fast as renewable energy, extreme weather, and the shift to decentralized energy systems disrupts our traditional electricity infrastructure. Over 20% of Alberta's electricity now comes from renewables. Since 2020, insured losses due to severe weather in Alberta has exceeded $4 billion, including billions of dollars in costs to restore power. How we generate and consume electricity is changing dramatically. The grid of the future must be responsive and flexible. It will take all sorts of changes in the design of our grids, electricity regulations, and our home energy systems to accommodate all these decentralized energy resources such as solar, wind, energy storage, and electric vehicles. The Energy Innovation Challenge takes direct aim at this. Hi, I'm Rochelle Pancoast, and I'm the Managing Director for Energy, Land and Environment at the City of Medicine Hat. And we're in this beautiful city with the South Saskatchewan River behind us. The Energy Innovation Challenge is almost uh, self-explanatory because it is focused on finding solutions for grid and energy providers such as ourselves to make sure that we can transition through time and meet uh, accelerated electrification requirements in a decarbonized way. Medicine Hat is the first ever host of the $2.4 million Energy Innovation Challenge in partnership with Decentralized Energy Canada. Energy Innovation Challenge really is acknowledging that there is lots of work for us to roll up our sleeves towards energy transition. That introduces new uh, anticipated problems with changing supply mix, with different behaviours, with uh, different levels of consumption, and we really are looking to find vendors to help solve the challenges that we believe we'll face and matching those solutions with the needs of the future. As electrification increases, it's all about making much better use of existing grid infrastructure as we integrate new decentralized solutions. It really is all about congestion. This is the Energy Innovation Challenge is working to work on grid decongestion at the system level and at the consumer level. And this is where the predictive analytics, where um, uh, software solutions, modeling, simulations can come into play to help them achieve this. So how many applications did you get in the Energy Innovation Challenge? 36 applicants came in in the first intake, which is um, a, a great number for us. First innovation challenge we've ever run. So those shortlisted and selected to, uh, to pilot their technologies within the city of Medicine Hat will receive up to $250,000 in additional funding towards their project to, to help commercialize their product or help bring that product to market here in Alberta. Medicine Hat is the perfect place to pilot technologies designed to integrate distributed energy resources. One could consider the city of Medicine Hat as a microgrid, if not one of the largest microgrids in Canada. Medicine Hat is an island in the Alberta grid. They manage and self-regulate all of their own electricity generation, distribution and transmission right in the city. So the city of Medicine Hat currently has 299 megawatts of total generation capacity, which is a mix of six megawatts of wind power that you see behind me, uh, with the remainder coming from gas-fired generation. Last winter, when Alberta was issuing grid alerts, Medicine Hat was able to help out through a grid intertie with the province. So the city of Medicine Hat experiences our peak loads, our peak demands in the summer months versus the winter, whereas uh, the majority of the province experiences peak loads in the winter months. Uh, because of that, Medicine Hat has excess capacity that it's able to put onto the provincial grid to assist meeting that, that demand at a provincial level. So the, this prior winter in uh, Alberta, in January, I believe it was, there was uh, multiple energy alerts throughout the province uh, having to do with um, uh, insufficient capacity to meet the provincial demand. The city of Medicine Hat was able to export power onto the provincial grid to assist the province to reduce uh, and mitigate any potential outages that may occur. The Energy Innovation Challenge seeks to integrate all of these solutions, make the Medicine Hat grid more efficient, and enable consumers and businesses to better utilize their solar, batteries, smart technologies, and potentially aggregate their resources in virtual power plants. 
All participants in the Energy Innovation Challenge receive free or heavily discounted passes to the Decentralized Energy Forum, and they're invited to exclusive investor meetings to help raise capital. The winners of the first round will be announced at the Decentralized Energy Forum in Whistler, BC on October 28th and 29th. Green Energy Futures will be at the conference. Why not join us there? Visit www.deforum.ca for more info. Learn more on our blog at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.